Oklahoma City Thunder forward Paul George, 13, guards against Utah Jazz forward Joe Ingles, 2, in the first half of the Thunder's 98-89 win Monday night in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Salt Lake City, Deontay Burton suited up Monday for his first game on a full-time NBA contract. He played in just the final minute of the Thunder's 98-89 win over the Jazz, but it was still a notable occasion. Burton spent the Thunder's previous games this season on a two-way contract. Burton played 23 games with the Thunder as a two-way player was nearing his 45-day limit with the NBA squad. It's hard when you have a two-way guy, especially when they're up and down. Thunder coach Billy Donovan said, I think for Deontay, he had some good experiences playing with us and then there were some times where he wasn't playing and I think they wanted to get him some more playing time and opportunities to play and continually build out his development and his growth. I think it's hard for a player to really grow with the limited amount of practices that an NBA team has so they're kind of traveling and they do get a chance to do some individual workouts and that stuff's good, Patterson appearance Patrick Patterson made his second appearance for the Thunder since the team added Markeith Morris at the All-Star break. He played four minutes Monday. Patterson replaced Morris in the fourth quarter, when the second unit power forward left the game for neck soreness. He did not return. Morris was out with a neck injury for almost two months before coming to the Thunder. Patterson also played for five minutes against the 76ers two weeks ago. Bricks Galore The Jazz shot just 14 of 42 in the first half 33%, and the Thunder held the Jazz to just 37 points before the intermission. It was the fourth time this season that OKC has held an opponent to under 40 points and a half. The Jazz finished the game shooting 36.4% from the floor. Not so foul the Thunder sent the Jazz to the free throw line 17 times, after giving their opponents over 45 free throws each in of its previous two games. On Monday, the Thunder took more free throws 27 than the Jazz, and made them at a 70.4% clip. Related photos 10-13 Utah Jazz guard Donovan Mitchell, 45, shoots as Oklahoma City Thunder's Marchief Morris, 5, and Abdul Nader, 11, defend in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday, March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Utah Jazz forward Royce O'Neal, bottom, battles for the ball against Oklahoma City Thunder's Abdul Nader, right, and Marchief Morris, top, in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday, March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder forward Paul George, left, picks up the ball as Utah Jazz forward Jay Crowder, right, looks on in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Utah Jazz forward Royce O'Neal, rear, battles for the ball against Oklahoma City Thunder forward Abdul Nader, 11, in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Utah Jazz forward Royce O'Neal, right, battles for the ball with Oklahoma City Thunder forward Abdul Nader, 11, in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder guard Russell Westbrook, 0, goes to the basket as Utah Jazz forward Royce O'Neal, left, defends in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunders, Stephen Adams, 12, and Terrence Ferguson, 23, guard the Utah Jazz guard Donovan Mitchell, 45, in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder forward Paul George, 13, guards against Utah Jazz forward Joe Ingles, 2, in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. 
AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder guard Russell Westbrook, zero, shoots as Utah Jazz forward Royce O'Neal, left, defends in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday, March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder, forward Jeremy Grant, left, and Utah Jazz guard Donovan Mitchell, right, battle for the ball in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday, March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder center Stephen Adams, 12, shoots as Utah Jazz center Rudy Gobert, 27, defends in the first half during an NBA basketball game Monday, March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Utah Jazz forward Joe Ingles, 2, guards Oklahoma City Thunder guard Russell Westbrook, 0, in the second half during an NBA basketball game, Monday, March 11, 2019, in Salt Lake City. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder guard Russell Westbrook, 0, celebrates after a teammate scores against the Utah Jazz in the second half during an NBA basketball game, Monday, March 11, 2019, in Salt Lake City. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder guard Dennis Schroeder, 17, shoots as Utah Jazz guard Donovan Mitchell, 45, defends in the second half during an NBA basketball game, Monday, March 11, 2019, in Salt Lake City. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder guard Russell Westbrook, 0, shouts to his team in the second half during an NBA basketball game against the Utah Jazz, Monday, March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder guard Russell Westbrook, 0, waves to the crowd as he leaves the court following an NBA basketball game against the Utah Jazz, Monday, March 11, 2019, in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Oklahoma City Thunder forward Paul George, 13, guards against Utah Jazz forward Joe Ingles, 2, in the first half of the Thunder's 98-89 win Monday night in Kearns, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, Maddie Lee followed an NBA team from Seattle to Oklahoma City, she just took a 10-year detour in between. Lee joined the Oklahoman in October 2018 as a Thunder Beat writer, fresh off a stint in Oxford, Miss, where she covered Ole Miss for the... Read more comments.